Yeah. I have Mr. Cole, sir. Yeah. There you are. Hello. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Bob tells me the hard hats were pleased with my welfare stand, huh? My golly, I, uh... I wonder how they heard about it. Well, they'd read about it, a lot of them, but, uh, one of the interesting things, I'd received a lot of calls on this yesterday, but then when I went up there last night and went from room to room, uh, it was really one of the first things that, uh, that people mentioned. They, of course, they'd had a few drinks, and it was an after-dinner kind of thing, and they were butting off a little steam, uh, and, uh, all of them, uh, just almost without exception, people would say, by God, you tell them we agree with that, those loafers, and I've worked all my life, and, uh, by God, nobody gives me anything for nothing, and I believe in hard work. Of course, that's really the, that's really the one characteristic of these fellows. But it, it, yeah, everywhere they talked about it. Good. They're a great bunch. I, I must say, Mr. Good. President, I, uh, <clears throat> I was heartened last night. I, I didn't get any criticism on the, or very little on Davis Bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, Good. The criticism I got, people would say, well, I think the president got bad advice. Uh, yeah. They were reluctant to blame you. Yeah. Brennan was in full swing there last night, and uh, Good. taking me around to people, he was being very helpful. Was he? Uh, what do they think of these? Uh, these uh, that crowd in the mall down there? Did they mention that, or have they seen it? Oh, uh, yeah. God, that's an awful looking group. It sure don't. is. They, well, they, they had they had the reaction of uh, these are these are real bums, and uh, you know how do you keep people like this off the streets and. <laughs> They were mad at him, but I. Uh, yeah, that's none right. of them have gone out to do anything about it. I, that's right. They don't. They shouldn't fight veterans. Well, that's. I think that's probably the one point that has turned them. Yeah. That has kept them quiet because the. Uh, yeah. yeah. The fact that they think they're veterans, of course, we know they're not. A lot of them aren't. Yeah. A lot of them aren't. But uh, sure. I thought the attitudes were good, as I also told Bob. It's uh, the, the, the minority hiring thing is something we're going to do some work on here because that. Yeah. That has a lot of them bothered, but. Uh, I think we can, well, heck, I don't think we're getting many points out of doing minority hiring, are we? Not in my opinion, no, sir. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, 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 we'll just, work just, on this. It just irritates the hell out of them because they know that a lot of it's unfair. Well, they've had, they've had some rough breaks, but the, the basic thing which I told Bob was that the underlying sentiment was... Uh, more positive than it has been. Uh, much more positive and very good towards you personally and the same... That same kind of uh, a proud feeling is there, and despite our troubles, which uh, mm -hmm. I think we'll find ways around in the in the uh, in the near future. It may be too that some of those fellows that were in the cabinet room kind of got around too, don't you think? Past oh, the word. they sure did. Uh, they would have helped too, don't you think? They helped a great deal. And uh, interestingly, uh, I let them know where I was going to be last night, and uh, mm -hmm. three of them came by and uh, Good. thanked thanked me for the meeting and told how much they. Uh, Appreciated it. No, that word is spread all through the. Uh, all through they kind of like the idea. Somebody they know darn well that uh, that the they, that most most people would have run away from the meeting, and they think, well, he was willing to talk to us. Had the guts to uh, to talk and to listen. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, Tom Murphy, who's a pretty outspoken guy, yeah, uh, yeah. said that he fine guy was very moved by your ending. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I think it. I, I I have the feeling we're building back with these fellows. I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, some things we need to do, and we'll work. Well, we can just get some, also uh, some more jobs. Uh, un I mean, um, employment should start to go up in that business, shouldn't it? No, it should be the first to feel it. Uh, good heavens, uh, uh, they, uh, I don't know. It depends on, of course, which carpenters. If housing ought to be affected by carpenters, and uh, a lot of things around. Well, there are still localized problems. I heard some of them last night, and uh, mm -hmm. I've talked to Erlickman this morning right. about. Mm -hmm. Two or three particular areas, Pittsburgh and Allegheny yeah. County, have a special problem that we'll do some work on. But when you think that the total construction estimate for this year has been revised upward to $109 billion, uh, gosh, they've just got a... Well, I, I used that everywhere last night, and it uh, staggered people because uh, gosh, the outlook is good for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might be interested that... That's good. That's good. That that uh, Evans Novak column on Muskie and the Trotskyites. Oh yeah. That uh, curiously, I can't imagine how these things happen, but uh, got around. Two somewhere. thousand copies of that had been distributed out there, <laughs> and every room I went in, they had a little stack of copies. So. Did they? Yeah. What's up? These guys really are on the ball, aren't they? Well, you just wonder how those things <laughs> get up there. Yeah. But yeah. That had some of them read it. Oh, a number of people were were commenting on it. In fact. Uh, they were a little 
defiant about the uh, yeah. musky over that. Yeah. Oh, I, the spirit is... They got no use for the, the, the communist or the Trotskyite, you know. And to them, a Trotskyite is just the same as a Moscowite, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. They don't distinguish. They just know it's, they know it's one of the bad guys. Yeah. Of course, Brennan, I, I 